You know, it's been almost two years since Mortal Kombat 11 came out, and honestly, it just hit me right now that there are some characters in this game that have some of their iconic staple moves taken away from them. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the ones that kind of bother me the most. I'm sure people have a lot to say about this subject, so in the comments below, let me know which moves you think shouldn't have been removed from MK11. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first move that I am very disappointed is not in Mortal Kombat 11 and was removed from Raiden's moveset was Raiden's shocker move, where he grabs you and shocks you. Now, he does have some sort of a shocker move with Storm Cell, but it's not the same. And really, I don't get why this move was removed. Virtually, Storm Cell works the same as Raiden's shocker move, so why fix what's not broken? This is a move Raiden has had since Mortal Kombat 2 and has been a staple in his moveset since then. And honestly, besides his torpedo move, when I think of iconic Raiden special moves, this is easily the second one that comes to mind. And I'm pretty sure objectively speaking with all of the fans, that is the second one that everybody thinks of. It might be the first one for me. I just think of these two moves when I think of Raiden's moves and it's removed. And it just feels weird to not have that there. Now, granted, I still enjoy playing Raiden in MK11, but I feel like he's an incomplete character without that move. Moving on to another move that I really wish was not removed from MK11 is Sonya's leg grab move. This to Sonya is probably what Scorpion Spear is to Scorpion. This was a move that she had in Mortal Kombat 1 and probably the move she is most known to have because of Mortal Kombat 1, making it a vanilla special move for that character. So to remove one of those vanilla moves is probably one of the biggest sins you can commit for Mortal Kombat creation. I'm not a Sonya mega fan or anything, but even then I've got to say, that's a little bit of a weird decision. Actually, you know what? I think weird is an understatement. That is an incredibly bad decision to take away someone's iconic move. I think we can all agree to that. The next move we have that I'm really disappointed is not in the game, and it really just hit me now that it's gone is Scorpion's Hellfire move. We first got this move in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, but to me, it's super iconic to the point where I forgot that it's a 3D era move and not a classic trilogy move, and that's because this move is just that iconic. And I really appreciate that Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat X as well, but specifically, I really appreciate Mortal Kombat 9 bringing that move back and putting it in Scorpion's move set because that game really did establish that, yeah, this should be a staple in Scorpion's move set from now on. Especially considering Mortal Kombat 9 was all about the trilogy era, but Netherrealm still realized and recognized that there are cool things from the 3D era that should be brought back in modern games. But you know what is a classic trilogy move and has been a staple for that character ever since? That is the infamous Ice Clone move from Sub-Zero. Yes, I understand some of my more gameplay focused fans are probably going to be saying, oh my god, Brusque, why would you say that? The Ice Clone was so fucking incredibly annoying to deal with in Mortal Kombat X. Why would you say that you missed this move? Why would you say anything suggesting that it would be a good idea to include this in MK11? Well, admittedly, if I really wanted to sit down and think about it and how the Ice Clone would work in this MK11 meta, it probably wouldn't work. But I'm mainly talking in terms of a Aesthetic purposes. Aesthetically, I think it would be good for Sub-Zero because, well, it's just a classic move. Again, I do acknowledge that it was a huge problem in Mortal Kombat X. It was incredibly annoying to deal with, but I don't think abolishing it entirely is the way to deal with the Ice Clone. I think if you can find a way to make it work or do anything you can 
to balance out the ice clone, which I'm sure there is. Let me know in the comments below how you guys would think the ice clone would work at MK11, then just do that. I just have a big problem when you start taking away iconic traits of characters or you don't acknowledge iconic traits of characters because it just seems like a watered down version of the character. A lot of people have said that Sub-Zero and MK11 feels like a watered down version of him and although i know it doesn't have to do solely with the fact that he doesn't have the ice clone in 11 but it certainly doesn't help that he doesn't have it in the mortal kombat community there's like two sides to being a mortal kombat fan there's being like the aesthetic mortal kombat fan and then there's the gameplay competitive side of being a mortal kombat fan and where i stand i stand a little bit in the center i'm a little bit more leaning to the aesthetic side but i do have big opinions on the gameplay side and what i see a lot from the gameplay or the competitive community is a lot of this should have been removed or it's fine you don't miss the ice clone being in mk11 and i'm just sitting here like well okay hold on a second i understand your frustrations with the brokenness that was the ice clone of mortal kombat x but i don't think straight out abolishing things that are iconic traits to characters to fit a gameplay only narrative is something that we want to go down the road towards and i feel like nether realm for mortal kombat 11 did that a little bit too much with some of the characters in 11 because on the aesthetic mortal kombat fan side all we're really asking for is our characters to be done right all of their iconic traits are present all of what makes their character recognizable is there and if you do those things right well then we're happy as a general rule going forward i just don't think we should be taking away anything that makes a character iconic just to fit a m plus frames narrative or whatever the fuck i think there should just be a balance between the two all right this last one isn't necessarily iconic this is coming from a new character that was introduced in mortal kombat x so it's not really a like well established move but i still miss it i still wish it wasn't removed and that is the on your knees Kotal Khan move from Mortal Kombat X. Where is that in Mortal Kombat 11? That was one of the coolest things about Kotal Khan and MKX. That was one of the coolest things that made Kotal Khan cool. So if you've been watching me for a while, you guys would know that every time the Netherrealm does a combat cast, I do a watch party live stream. And when Kotal Khan was revealed during the Mortal Kombat 11 hype days, a lot of people in my chat were saying, where's the on your knees? Where's the on your knees? Where's the on your knees move in his move set and honestly knowing that that move is not an 11 kind of feels like they actually took away an actual iconic classic move from an actual iconic classic character that's how great that move was in mkx so those were five iconic moves that were absent in mk11 that really did bother me so let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below are there any moves that are absent in mk11 that you specifically miss and are there moves Moves that you think I forgot to list in this video. Again, leave that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest and greatest videos from me. I'll see you guys in the next video.